A new report on public health emergency preparedness finds North Carolina in better shape than it was a year ago. The annual study by Trust for America's Health ranks our state as one of 19 highly prepared to deal with public health emergencies. Bill O'Neill has the story. The study, ready or not, has tracked the country's public health emergency preparedness for 20 years. North Carolina is one of nine states that improved its ranking this past year thanks in part to a 7% increase in state funding for public health. Now, those COVID monies are going to run out or their window for spending is going to end. And then the departments may be back where they were pre-pandemic, which for most people is a state of underfunding. North Carolina ranks among the top 10 states for its hospitals. 44% of North Carolina hospitals have an A grade for patient safety. North Carolina does slightly better than the national average when it comes to workers using paid time off. When workers without paid leave get sick, they can either go to work and possibly infect others or stay home and lose pay. It's all good for their own health, but it also prevents the spread of the disease. But people can only stay home from work if they have paid time off. The report urges lawmakers to increase funding for public health, to modernize infrastructure, and to restore funds to the Emergency Preparedness Program, which has lost 20% of its budget over the past 20 years. Look at the billions of dollars we've spent trying to control the pandemic. If we had invested millions before the pandemic, we could have spent less and been had a stronger response to the pandemic and saved lives. Bill O'Neill, WXII, 12 News.